This cat has been toilet trained. So has this cat. All because this woman decided litter boxes had to go. Kitty litter's gross, not just for the humans that live in the house, but also for the cat, right? I guess so, because she has sold 300,000 cat potty training kits. So this is the original City Kitty that I created. 39-year-old Rebecca Riscotti created City Kitty, which works like a litter box under a toilet seat. Little by little, parts of it are removed until a cat becomes used to going straight into the water. It's easier to toilet train a cat than it is to toilet train a kid. The City Kitty empire began in 2004 in New York City with a cat named Samantha. And so my husband and I got married, we got this 500 square foot apartment, and I decided to toilet train the cat. I did online research and I started to realize I was not the only one that would want to do it. You've got like, what, 8 million people that live in New York City and probably half of them have cats. None of these people want litter boxes. They were getting like a roasting pan for a turkey, hammering it down to fit in a toilet seat and then doing the training with it. I was going to do what everybody else did, right? And get this device and, and, and jerry rig it, which is what I did to toilet train Samantha. But then when she hopped up on the toilet for the first time and went to the bathroom in the toilet, I was like calling my friends, I'm like, you have to get over here and see what she can do. So she pees at 6 a.m., come on over. At the time, Riscotti worked in marketing at an enterprise software company. Were you happy? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Riscotti and her husband used all of their wedding money, ten to $20,000, to launch City Kitty in June 2005, despite some initial doubters. And I said, hey, hey Dad, uh, I'm going to start a company. He's like, oh, that's great, honey. I said, I'm, 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 it's gonna be, um, I'm gonna make toilet training kits for cats. He's like, a what? And I remember thinking, yeah. And he was like, all right, whatever you wanna do. And everybody laughed. Like they thought, you know, this isn't gonna work. Except it did work. City Kitty sales have totaled so far more than $8 million. And now Riscotti has to fight off copy cats. Her entrepreneurial spirit has also led to the launch of several other products which have nothing to do with cats. She's even been on Shark Tank twice. And her advice to female entrepreneurs who have a crazy idea, listen to your own voice. I'm a very strong female. I've always spoken up for myself. But for some reason, my natural instinct, when a guy with a deeper voice that's taller than me would say something, I'd be like, oh, I should listen to him. He's, he's got the stature for it. And it took me years to, to trust myself. Never, never, never allow the sex of someone else to dominate over what you, what you already know. I always thought it would be fun to start a business, but I didn't have the right idea. And it wasn't until I toilet trained my cat that this idea fell in my lap. It was screaming to it me. It fell in you, your toilet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>